Well, good afternoon. So today's uh, video lesson is going to be a classical tabs song on, uh, well, I can't hardly read it. I think it's March de Carnival. Carnival. Uh, Carlos M-A-C-H-A-D-O. It is a cool song, and I will try to attach if I can. Or you can look on YouTube also. It is a uh, Typically, if people walking by, these video lessons so distracting to me sometimes. Um, it, it, it is a jazzish type duet where it, one person can play the chords behind it while the other person plays the melody. Let me get you a screenshot of this arrangement. As far as I know, I think this is the whole song. You'll just remind me. I can get you a live copy of that too. If you didn't get this picture... And it's not uh, showing it to you. We will be, you can see that we have the notes, the notation. We also have the number tabs here. It has some repeated sections. We will not, for the second time, we will not be doing the repeats, okay? Uh, so if you listen to it and you're trying to listen to it and watch a YouTube video, you're like, hey, ran out of notes or something, that would be exactly why, okay? Remember, when you're reading tabs, and I say this when I do these videos in case this is the first time you're reading tabs like this. There is the notation. There's a line connecting it to the tab. That's all like vertically aligned. Okay, so you're not going to look at the notes and then try to go under it and then reread it with the tabs. You're looking at one or the other. They call that a score. Once you get to the end of that line, you're jumping to the next one, whether you're looking at the notes Probably with me, you're looking at the numbers right now if you're watching this lesson, okay? I will be referring to the numbers, which are the tabs, which are which frets you're pressing down, okay? I will not always be referring to what string it's on because you will have your screenshot of that paper or you will have printed that out by now and you're looking at the actual paper. Now, I believe, I believe this is an A minor because it starts right there on... On two, yeah. So since it starts out with those three notes, which would be first and then the high E, A C E. That's the A minor chord. So yes, we are in the key of A minor. So we have starting. 2-2, two, two. then here, 1-1-0-0 one, one, zero, zero on the top of E, next measure is 3-0, then 3-1, then it repeats in, 3-0, kind of syncopated rhythm, which is kind of neat, that's one of the things I like about the song, it's just catchy to listen to to be honest um i had i have not listened to it a lot but i've listened to it some and i was like hey that's pretty daggum catchy <laughs> i think kids might like it so let's go back slow that down a little bit I, I wish i could get these angles where you could see everything let me try i know don't get dizzy <laughs> let me try putting something behind this to prop it down there we go that might help a little so as we go through then three here I like to get, if I can do something like that where I'm just changing fingers plucking here and holding one position here, that's nice. Then you'd have to move here for three here. Oh, here. Then that'd be line two. Then five. first two lines and I gotta say there's a little bit of repetition and a little bit of stirring it up so that's not too bad that's not too bad you you may have to go you may want to go faster you may be able to go faster you may be wanting to go slower you may be going I have no idea what she's no she's even on hey remember this is a recorded lesson so you can go back pause all that so this was line one line two let's go back do it one more time I've got my one and my two already pressed down Okay, here we go. Two, two, one, one, zero, zero, three, zero. Then one here. One, zero, three, one. Then see how I got.
got that two down. I always try to stay ahead of myself. Okay, I'm trying to look at that and look at you and look at this. Then I got in a, a pretzel. Okay, let's back up again. Let's see. I'm going to start the last two numbers of line one so I can get into line two. I don't know what that was. Let's see. Gotta pluck the right one. Well, somehow I finally found it. Okay. Five, three, three. Then two. I used to know what I was doing. <laughs> then I tried to stop reading in front of my students while I'm teaching. <laughs> one, here's line three. <laughs> Hey, I never admit to being perfect. If you take from me by now, you already know I'm going to admit when I'm messing up something. That was a hot mess. But, you know, we go back. We practice it. Then we'll have it down. So, one, 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 two, zero, one, three, 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 four, zero, zero, four, one. That's where it would repeat. That's the end of that section. <laughs> then it goes into whatever it goes into there. It is so cool. That, I want to, it's something like that, the chord. Da, 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 da. Something like that. So what did I do? I did A minor, E7, something back and forth, A minor and E7. Then there's a G in there. I can't remember what else is in there without listening to it, but I picked it off when I was listening to it going, that is killer. It's not written on this, sorry. But we can write it in. Remember, that's why. That's why we have pencils. Okay, so let's go to the second section while before we run out of time. So one, two, three. That's line four. If you're looking at the note notes, that's going to be number 25, which is by the third ring, right under it. And it's going to be E, E, G sharp, G sharp, A, which means it's on the high E. Zero, zero, four, four, five, five, seven, seven. Zero, zero, five, five, seven, seven, eight, eight. Zero, zero. Seven, seven, eight, eight. All of them get up here. Ten. Ten, ten, zero, zero. Eight, eight, eight. Ten, ten, twelve. So we're going up here. Let's do that again. That's all on this E string, kind of building some tension. I love it. So we're going to go from zero, going to work our way all the way up to twelve. Okay, let's try it again. Zero, zero, four, four, five. Five seven seven zero zero five five reach seven seven eight eight zero zero seven seven eight eight ten ten zero zero eight eight ten ten twelve that's cool that high e is three ledger lines above the staff. That's up in the flute register way up there. That's cool. Way up there. The next two, the next section is completely different. Let's see. We got uh, like a bass note going on and some three number stacks together. So these are little chords. So we have zero, three, four first, which means this string's open. We got a three and a four, so. Where you pluck them at the same time. Just pull all three. Those top three. Then you're going to go into A. Open zero. Then they want zero, one, two. How many times do I do? Four of each of those? Let's see. So here, three, four. Okay, this is cool. Up. Oh. Three, four, am I in the right spot? No. There it is. Three and 
four and three and four and this is back to three. Okay, it's the same thing over and over. Okay. Then that one. That's kind of like the beginning. I wonder why it didn't end on the A minor at the end. It should. Hey, we may have you write that in afterward. Put that A minor at the end. Happy practicing.